So how do you think we're gonna bail her out? If we use generative fill, is it going to work? So let us make a selection of it. Click on generate a fill and just click on generate. And there you go. No matter how many times you try, every time it generates another fence as if she deserved to be behind bars. Besides, you know the resolution limitation with generate a fill. As soon as you zoom in, all those filled areas are super, super duper low resolution. So how do we remove the fence after all? It seems like a Herculean task. However, if you break it down, trust me, it is simple. Now I know at this point, it is just easier to ask her to come out of the fence, take another photo, but maybe that's not possible. Maybe this is the only photo you have, or maybe you might have to wait 25 years for the sentence to finish. Either way, here's how to fix it. Step number one, make a good selection. Now you can try using the lasso tool and select everything, but it's going to take a lot of time. One of the easy ways to do it here is just create a brand new layer. This also helps that if you accidentally deselect or do something else, this is going to save your brass. Let's select the brush tool and just paint over. That's all. With a hard round brush right here, with black or any color that just stands out, zoom into it and with the brush big enough, just dab. Hold the shift key, dab again. Keep holding the shift key, dab again. And that's how you make quick selections. And it's actually painting over. We're gonna turn it into selections later, just like so. You wanna make sure you don't leave out these little things. And also as you're painting over this, you also want to make sure that you paint over the shadows too. Otherwise it would be weird to have the fence removed and have the shadows. So take a little bit of time to paint over the entire thing and you wanna make sure nothing is left out. Even if generative fill sees a bit of the net, it's gonna regenerate the whole net all over again. So as you can see, we have done the whole thing right here and we have a lot covered. Just make sure that there is nothing left out, not even a little shadow. Now we need to turn it into a selection and then turn it off. So hold the controller command first, click on the thumbnail of this layer it turns it into a selection and then just simply turn it off. We may need it later. Now with the background layer selected, you can try generate a fill. By the way, if you're not able to see the contextual taskbar, you wanna make sure you go to window and then just check contextual taskbar. If you try generate a fill and click on generate, you see what happens. It just creates another fence. So we need to try another method first. Let's try our good old content aware fill. Go to edit and then content aware fill. Default settings are fine in this case. I know it is not the best result, but it's a good starting point. You wanna make sure output is set to new layer and hit okay. Now we have the areas filled, but not so accurately. What if now we try generate a fill? Let us do that, but I'm very sure it's again gonna create another fence due to this shape of the selection. And there you go, it does exactly that. And even the resolution will be crap. So how do we get around this? First of all, we need to make selections bit by bit, but strategically, here is how. You already know that with the lasso tool selected right here, make sure that is selected. If you hold the shift key and then make a selection, it just adds to that selection. Also, if you hold the Alt key or the Option key and then make a selection on top of an existing selection, it subtracts that area. However, here's another shortcut. If you hold the Shift key and the Option key, Shift and Alt on Windows, and then make a selection, it is the intersection mode. It keeps the intersection of the selections. So let us make a selection of the face area, like so, and just that. So we have that waffle selection. And now let us click on generate a fill. And this time let us type in no offense, please. No offense, don't give me any offense. It better not. Excuse me for the dad joke, but there you go. This is way better. I know the eyes are messed up, but apart from that, here's the first, here's the second, and here is the third. Might be different faces, so you may have to match and see which one matches the most and then go from there. So I tried a few times and of course I'm not going to bore you with the loading. And so far, out of all of these, this one felt the best. But there are some problems. First of all, now that there is no fence, what would she be holding anyway? So let us remove the hand from here. With the help of the lasso tool again, let's make a simple selection. And this time, just generate a fill should work fine. Our options are unlimited, unless of course we run out of credits. So these are a few ones. Maybe I'm gonna go with this one I generated before. So much cleaner, much nicer. Now there are little problems with the hair as you can see here and there. You can try to fix it one at a time with the remove tool. So you can create a brand new layer, try to fix this area, then try to fix another area. 
instead of doing all that, why not just generate all of it again? So with the lasso tool selected, let's generate the entire thing. The background is blurred anyway, this is soft focused. So with a selection like this, generate the whole thing all over again. So here's the first one, here's the second one, and here is the third one. That is a bit weird. Let's go with the second one. Done. Now since the background is blurred anyway, the resolution quite doesn't matter here. Now before we start fixing little issues, zoom out a bit and see if there are some big issues we need to fix first. The first thing that I notice right here are these crisscross signs on the shirt. So why not generate the whole thing again? So the entire thing from here till here. Generate a fill, generate. Now at some point you might be wondering when you're changing all the parts, it may not be the same thing anymore. And to an extent, you're very right. Here's the first, the second, and the third. All of them look fantastic. Let's go with the third one. Now it is time for us to fix little things like the eyes. Now, it goes beyond the selection. Whatever filling is there, it goes beyond the selection. So we need to bring back the original eye first. Now you can try expanding the selection, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not gonna take any risk. So you can select this original layer right here. Hold the Alt key, the Option key, click on the eye to just see that. And with the lasso tool, you can bring the entire eye. Select the whole thing and press Ctrl or Command J. And then you can turn everything back on. That was just for reference. And bring this eye at the top. And all you have to do is to do the selection all over again. Or do you really have to do that? No. Hold the Ctrl or Command, click on the thumbnail of this layer. We only want to limit it to this area. So hold the Shift key and the Alt key, Shift and Option on a Mac and circle the whole thing. You want to make sure that all of these grills and everything are covered and then try generate a fill. Let's see what it does. With a little finer selection, here's the first, second and third. I think I'm gonna go with the first one and then improve the pupil later. Let's do the same for this eye. So again, go to the background layer and make a selection of the eye. And with the background layer selected, press Ctrl or Command J bring it at the very top, like so. Bring back the selection by holding the control or command, click on the thumbnail of this layer, and again, we want to limit it just to this area. So hold the shift and option and just circle around it. You can take the time to make the selection finer, and now you can try generate a fill and generate. You can type I if you wish to, I've left it blank. Let's see what it does. The first one, second one, not that bad, and the third one. I think I am very much impressed. And then we can use Liquify to match both of these. But apart from that, they're pretty good. Now, if you see some other areas, you can improve that too. Like the lips right here. So I'm gonna select this area. Seems a bit weird. And also this particular area. Generate a fill, generate. There are some good results. First one, second one. I think the second one is good, but this area still is weird. All right, let's go with this one and then try to generate this area again. I think we're gonna go with this one. This is really so darn good. Now you can go on and on with this. I'm not gonna take the entire time just doing this. It can get just as good as much time you wanna give it. Now let us try the remove tool for little fixes. So let's pick the remove tool from right here. Brand new remove tool. Let us create a brand new layer and let's name it little fixes. Now fix little issues like this. Just loop around it and it should be gone. There you go. Weird stuff right here, fix that. Anything weird, like the pupil, we'll try to regenerate it. There you go, so much better. Now we need, do need to liquefy this. Here is a line we need to let go, like so, gone. Similarly right here, gone. Here is a little bit of pixely problem, so we can fix the whole thing with generative fill. Generative fill, generate. So there we have our results. We can go with any one of these and it's fine. And that is how my friend, you clean up most of it. If I were doing this and not recording it, I would go a couple steps forward just to clean everything up. But keep in mind, at the last step, I would liquefy to correct proportions and sizes. So once you have done cleaning up, press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E with the topmost layer selected. This will create a merged layer at the top. Everything you see in the canvas, it is merged to one layer. Now let's go to filter, convert for smart filters. It is the same as converting it into a smart object. It is a smart object now after all. Now let's go to filter, liquefy. With the forward warp tool selected right here and with low pressure, make the brush bit smaller with the bracket keys and just nudge it to adjust the size. You can also refer the original photo of the person. This one you can make it slightly bigger 
to match with that of the left one or the right one from her side. And that is pretty much done. If you wanted to correct the proportions of the shoulders and stuff, you can do that too. And I think I'm happy with it. Hit OK once you're satisfied. Want to have a look at the overall before and after? So here is the before and here is the after. Just insanely crazy, isn't it? Generator fill may not be the end all solution to everything. We may need to use it tactfully. And this just goes on to show that AI is not all that clever. We need to use tricks to get it to work. Just as a recap, when you try to use generator fill to remove something, it might create that object all over again. And with things like nets, fences, braces, glasses, it happens all the time. So for it, you need to use some other technique to slightly remove it. Then we need to fill it bit by bit. So in this case, we first used content aware fill. Then we filled it bit by bit. First the face, then the arms, we covered that area, removed it, and then it just made more sense to completely regenerate the background and the hair instead of trying to fix little things. So we did that, and instead of trying to fix these lines, we generated the whole thing again, and it's way more cleaner. And then for the eyes, we used the previous selection and generated just the eyes, like this. And we generated the right eye too, and then we used other finishing techniques and liquify to bring the whole thing together. And finally, here is the liquify by the way. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Don't